Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a brand new video. This one is a super exciting one. It's another shoe unboxing. Again, I had no plan on buying this, but since I've just been home, I've had more time to browse the website to shop and also I am not out, um, you know, spending my money on Uber and food. Now I have, <laughs> I have, uh, you know, extra to really spend on designer shoes. Now I don't know if I can go back now to my old lifestyle because I'm addicted. No, really, it's because, um, you guys know I've never really watched Sex in the City before, so I thought quarantine might be the best time to start watching. So last week I started watching, I think I'm on the second season. Almost done with the second season, I think. I don't even know. But it really made me, you know, fall in love with shoes and Manolos. Now I am obsessed with Manolos. I'm already on my second pair. I just ordered a pair yesterday or the other day. I'm waiting for it to, to come. So these I search YouTube in vain looking for a review on these shoes but I didn't see any unboxing which is why I really really wanted to make this unboxing just in case you ladies wanted to check them out as well. Originally I wanted the Maysell one. The Maysell one or the or the Mules version. So I wanted them in either in the a konyaki color which is like my favorite color when it comes to shoes or I wanted the nude ones so I was browsing Farfetch I've never purchased anything on Farfetch this was my first order on Farfetch very very happy so I've been looking online for about a week I've just been looking at these shoes now actually I've been looking at these shoes for a month I've had them saved since last year um, I finally saw someone with the color that I wanted and I was like oh these are the ones that I want but I never paid him any mind because I, if you guys know anything about me, I am not really big on shoes like that. I was never big on shoes and accessories this year. Well, not this year. The last couple of years has been really when I've started, you know, embracing, you know, accessories. And also, I on a recent trip to D.C. with my friend Deb, I realized how important accessories were. To your outfit as it was to me I'm very simple um, I like to have just one bag one shoe just change my clothes and that's it but um, my trip to DC I, um, I had this dress and it didn't really go with anything that I had and that happened to have white boots and white hat and white bag literally all these sisters were hers and that picture was the most like picture from the trip everyone loved those and not only because everyone liked the picture but also it just transformed the dress compared to how I was wearing it so that really I don't know that really taught me a lesson on how the, the, of the power of accessories making sure that you have the right accessories can make or break your outfit long-winded story but let's get back to Manolo's because that's what you guys are here for that's what you're interested in and that's what to, um, obviously I'm interested in also like I said I was buzzing Farfetch on a late night um, everywhere had the mules they sold full price for like $7.55 and of uh, $7.45 or the mules and and recently I saw Amelia, Amelia Liana she was wearing the the slingbacks I thought ooh I don't think I want the the mules anymore because the, the mules look beautiful but I don't think I'll be able to walk in them and my tolerance for high heel it's like a thousand I can wear high heels for days and my feet will not hurt at all hours but the way they look if they don't seem like the most comfortable thing to work on I feel like because the cut is a little bit too low they will probably leave your feet a lot so I thought, you know what, the slingback is probably a better option for me because I can easily dress them up and dress them out as I see fit, as opposed to the mules. Um, although they are quite beautiful, I still want a pair to be quite honest. I still want them in pink. Um, so I've decided if I get them, it's got, it has to be a fun color. Um, so I may end up getting a pink. I think the pink, I will get a lot of wear out of it. Or maybe if I see something that's like very, very unique, maybe I'll go for it. I haven't decided yet. But so far I have my heart set on the pink color um, for 
the for the mood version. So, like I said, I was browsing Pornfish and I saw these and they were in my color nude suede and whatever the sizes they had, 36 and a half. To big down a size six. I wear both six and a half and six. In mules, I wear in mules and boots, I wear six and a half or seven. Always size up when it comes to mules. Any shoe um, where the back is hanging, always size up half a size um, or a full size if they don't make half sizes um, because you do not want your feet hanging out. Typically, that's how mules are supposed to fit your feet to begin with. But these are slingbacks, which kind of like regular shoes. So I thought, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? What is it too big? Blah blah blah. So I was wrestling for ten minutes. I had them in my car, my cart, thinking, I really hope they fit me. But then again, I decided. But then again, I remember when I was in Paris with Kayla when she was buying her Dior slingbacks. I think she went up a full size because she said she put the insoles in her shoes um, to make them fit because she doesn't like when they like too tight. So I rem I really like, you know, I remember that. So I thought, you know what, if they are a tiny bit big, I'll just get some insoles to put in them and then that should be good. So I went ahead and went for them. The best thing was the price. Typically the shoes are $7.55 and they had them for Five sixty-six, five hundred sixty-six dollars from the website, and I was like, "This is such a steal! I just cannot let these pass pass up. I cannot." So these are called the Maisley M A Y S L I, thirty-six and a half, and the heel is seventy millimeter, which is about two point seven inches, about almost three inches, which is the perfect height for a sling bag. Um, that's the height sling bag should be and these are the suede and the color is it says brown but light brown but I just call it nude and of course it come in the white manolo bag and when you open it this came really fast actually open it of course dust bag says manolo and it comes with their signature gray dust bags that says Manolo's on them. Don't mind my nails, I'm just letting them breathe. And when you open them, guys, when I saw these shoes, I almost died like and went to heaven. Like, what? Have you ever seen anything more perfect? I haven't. Like the buckle detail is everything. Everything. Oh my god, like I love them so much. It's to the point where I want these in another color. I think I want maybe a navy blue, but at the same time, I feel since nude is my safe color, I probably want like a fun color in these. So I see that they have it in this kind of like light green. It's not even necessarily a color that I would go for, but since I wear a lot of white dresses, I think that green may be a good color for me. But at the same time, that's a lot of money to spend on a shoe that I won't be able to wear. All the time that's my thing with expensive shoes if I'm buying them I want to be able to wear them all the time I don't like when my shoes collect dust especially the most expensive ones those are the ones that I typically like to wear all the time because I don't believe in saving your expensive shoes for a special occasion because I believe every day is a special occasion every day is a present that when you open your eyes so you should always wear your best stuff on a daily basis and just make it like a regular thing let's get back to the shoes Guys, if I wore a shoe, I think these, like, describe me, honestly. I'm just in awe. Like, every time I see them, I open the box, and I'm like, oh my god, they are so, so comfortable. And now, I am obsessed. I'm just, like, obsessed with anything Manolo's now. Carrie Bradshaw has definitely ruined me now. <laughs> and, like I said, I ordered another pair. 
I cannot wait for them to come so I can, I'm gonna do another unboxing and then I'll probably do a comparison but I now I have my eye on either getting a mule in this version the Maisel or maybe I'll just get another sling bag in Italy pulling it upside down you I cannot wait to wear these outside I cannot wait to wear these outside they are so so pretty I think I'm going to put a protective sole underneath these I bought them to put a national one and I never put them on because I don't even like to even protect the bottom because when I wear expensive shoes I take the car anyways I don't like walking these they are the I don't know they're like the best $400 I mean 600 bucks I've ever spent it's they are just so beautiful I can't see I've already given you the spec there are 70 millimeter um which is 2.7 inches close to three the perfect height for a sling bag that's that's usually the height and you know the receipt come in the far fetch envelope and they were 556 oh the price is not even on here but they were 556 plus I don't remember if I paid tax but maybe I did plus ten dollar shipping and they came to 627 so maybe I did pay tax um, I think it was five dollars regular shipping and then ten dollars for express shipping. I wanted them as soon as possible, so I paid for the express shipping. So, guys, let me know um, how you like the shoes, and also if you are a Sex in the City fan, if you are a Manolo Blondie fan, and also are you interested in getting the Sling Max or the Mule version. Um, let me know in which color you plan on getting it if you are in the sun link below if you guys want to check it out and let me know if after watching Sex in the City um, let myself if it turned you into a shoe girl so yeah, I'm gonna pop them on and show you how they look on me and again thank you so much for upstairs. Thanks again so much for watching. I will catch you on my next video. So, yeah, I hope I talked about everything. Bye bye.